When he gets hit, it's a combo to start off. I like that Molly is starting off with both jab and some air and running back. It's something that uh, a lot of people in melee and, and uh, I'd say PM as well find to be an important thing. You have to have the space to run in if you don't get what you need. You run right back out. Because otherwise, you're putting yourself in a bad situation where your opponent has a lot of control. Yeah, no, and right now, Molly has got himself a quick 58% lead. But as I say that, getting himself down tilted, but it's got back right back on the offense. Now he's yeah. actually having quite a bit of trouble getting anything going on this kind of Falcon right now. I think most of that is because we're seeing Molly play it. A very slow pace. Captain Falcon isn't a run in and get everything he wants character in Smash 4. You have to be very calculated and you have to wait for your, those situations where you have a, a strong advantage. Yeah, and even right there, Molly is not going in right now. On the Oh my goodness, that forward smash taking that stock real quick. Well, like See, I was saying. Very patient reaction there. Yeah, no. That's actually one thing I was going to mention. I would like to see Navi actually bust out a couple more turnips. Really keep Molly on his heels. Yeah, you see that he's playing a very patient game and staying away from you. Get a projectile. Pretty much try to force him to come into you. Good back air right there. Uh, Navi is trying his best to keep this Falcon in the corner. If you limit the space that Falcon has to move, that is when you have an advantage against Captain Falcon. He can't really do too much. Uh, you can react with shield very quickly. Only thing that he, he could be looking for when you're close up is that his dash grab's still very strong. Yep. Great there, right there, getting, the first, getting that first off, evening up the set. But uh, I really do like his game plan right now. Really just playing this keep away game. But as I'm saying that, again. great combo. Yeah, Navi is getting to that point where he realizes when and where to go in for the combos. Early percent is the easiest way to do it. That is untechable when you're on the ground. If you're in the air, you can end up getting a tech off of that. Yeah. But that's free percent right there. Luckily, he ended up teching the second one. He's probably going he's probably in his jump spot frame. Or right at the end of him, I should say. And I'm really surprised that Molly did not try to read the air dodge right there. Uh, Navi actually getting away from that knee. Oh, goes for the side B. Saw that he was going for, that Molly was going for back air. Ended up perfectly spacing at the right side. Yeah, no, I actually really like what Nami is doing. Oh my goodness, actually almost killing right there. Good Raptor boost. boost, pretty strong. Raptor boost is an amazing kill move in this game. You have to be very, very patient around it. All right, another good back air. Just spacing as well as he can because the only thing that's going to contest with back air is going to be forward air coming out from Navi. That was a stitch face, too. Don't even matter. Yep. Don't even matter. The pace changed, and that was the big problem for Molly. Is that at first, Molly was controlling the flow of the game. He had the floor, he was waiting patiently for Navi to act, and Navi was getting kind of a little tense, a little nervous, trying to kind of throwing out moves. But Captain Falcon can come in really quickly and punish, even though he may not have the frames or the uh, the air canceling that exactly. Peach really, does. once the game starts Still speeding up, that really helped out Navi quite a bit. I am really looking for Molly to go back to that slow pace uh, kind of play, just so he can find his openings yet again. Maybe yeah. jump out to a quick lead. Real quick, thank you to Captain Rickshaw for subbing for 15 months. We'll give you your dab on stream later. Sub hype. All right. So far, Navi has the lead, really holding on to the momentum from that last game. Now Navi is the one that is spacing out aerials pretty well here. I like the up air approach, comes in at a great angle. And those juggles are very strong. Not seeing any nares out of it. Down airs end up connecting. <laughs> and luckily that was a disjointed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, no, a clashing clank, hit clanking box. with that turnip right there. Down air looking real good for him right now. Yeah, right now the, the biggest change that Navi is actually doing is that, like you're saying, he's just throwing out more hitboxes. Like when he is going up in the air, he's throwing out more down air, throwing out more nair, and really just disrupting whatever Molly is trying to do with his approach options. Ooh, yeah. He's trying to go for that Raptor boost, but ooh, with punish. This is a not a terrible situation for Navi, but if Falcon gets onto the middle of the stage easily, it's gonna be a hard time. Went for the fair rather than the nair. It's a lot easier to throw out that nair and it come out comes out a lot quicker. All right, that, that booty gonna take that stock. Yeah. 
see what's going on next, because... Ooh. Early percent combos. Very quick 41% combo leading from that down tilt. Ooh. Well done. Navi has been coming up with a lot of aerial moves instead of taking a uh, more patient and kind of relaxed approach. Yeah, it's just, you know that Captain Falcon good. has to come to you. Yeah. Right now, uh, pretty much Molly's trying to keep up with the same game plan. But Navi, again, just keeping up all these aerials right now. Down throw into the up air. Got that jab grab. If he gets a good up air, he might be able to get a knee. She is at 70% now. That's not too bad of a spot to be. Another about even percent. If Molly's going to be able to get a grab, might be able to get that 50-50 with the knee. Uh, possibly yeah. even read an air dodge. After these up airs he's been getting, uh, or after shielding the down air as well, can just up air out of shield. Push this peach away. We're at a dead even game right now. 3% off. Yeah, no, if, if Molly can actually react fast enough, uh, after the fourth hit of Dare, if I'm not mistaken, he can go up and hit him out of it. Oh, he goes on to the stage. Luckily, gets out of the last hit of down air. That would have been a huge problem for him. Jab, jab, and a side B coming out for Peach. The pressure comes on from Navi right now. Ends up getting into the up B. The Ooh. down tilt, but it's not enough to kill. No, very, very close there. And actually, Molly is buried. Oh, I thought he was going to oh. go for the knee. Ended up backing off instead. Well, it's a safer option to do. You would have to be frame perfect with that knee because you're going to see a Nair coming out from Peach. Good grab right there. This is such a tense match. Goes for the up B. This is a free kill right here. Navi trying this to get onto the oh, ledge. Goodness. Navi actually spacing that correctly. Getting away from there. But side he's going to get hit by that Raptor boost. Game. That was an all or nothing side B right there. One of those situations where if he ended up hitting on shield, you would have easily seen just a jumping there or a jumping forward there. There was so much lag at the end. OK, well, apparently I have a match to go play right now. Just wait till after this game. OK, OK. We're good, but we're going to hop into game three right now. We're going to go to Navi's counter pick. Really interested to see where he's going to go. Possibly Battlefield? Uh, just because it can give Peach a lot more options. Really darting out her aerials underneath the platforms. Like I said, I got the reads, man. I got the reads. Three, two, one. We'll see how uh, Molly ends up adjusting to the platform game. I mean, as Falcon, you do have a lot of tools to, to work with platforms. And high mobility characters usually have a good time. Mm. Man, throwing out a Falcon punch right now. All Definitely right. a mistaken input right there. Just trying to get in close and go for that jab. It's pretty smart uh, if she's going for the low flow. Although it doesn't look like he has too many other tricks up his sleeve with how to deal with Navi whenever Navi ends up floating in front. I like that Navi is using the side B and then instantly floating at a higher level because he realizes that Molly isn't punishing that height. That height of the float. No, the float that Navi is doing right now is getting him away from all the grabs and a lot of the really, th just the grabs that Molly is doing. That's all he's committing to. He's throwing a couple dash attacks here and there, and it's hit Navi out of the float. But what I want to see from Molly is try to come up with a lot more of these up airs, or even nares. You know that Navi is just going to float there and not really do too much. Rock on some damage, make him think that it's not safe for him to do that anymore, and get some stuff going right there. Down throw. Ends up getting a good tech right there. Otherwise, he would be in a lot of trouble. Tried to go for the grab, but it just wasn't enough. The timing was just not right. Must have been a hurt box extended out there. Great catch from the air. Navi's been doing a great job of racking up percent. The platform landing gets the up smash. Nice awareness from Navi. That was Molly's only real option there. We can go for the double kick. Oh my goodness, another forward smash. Not quite taking the stock yet. Battlefield coming in the clutch. And right now, Navi's trying to get back onto the stage. And beat oh. Molly has been really, really good with these F smashes. And what I like the most is that it doesn't seem like he's getting as frazzled as before in the first game that he lost. Okay, good jab combo. Just a little bit of percent, but a lot of stage control. Navi, seeing that Molly was running up, techs in. Shield on that back air. Molly right there. 
Jab, jab, down air. Thought he was actually going to go for that parry instead. Luckily, there was only an up tilt put in on Molly, otherwise it would have been a big up smash to a lot of percent. There you go, spacing those back airs. He got misspaced one on the last heap that he did. Peach had a very strong response. Very interesting that he went for the forward throw there instead of trying to go for the down throw. But nonetheless, damage is damage. And again, Molly is just running back and forth, trying to pick his option. Getting grabbed himself right there on his knobby. Okay, trying to get that up air coverage. Down tilt. Get some more space there. Side B's definitely not going to be killing just yet, but he does have control of the floor. Oh, forward smash completely missing. He would have needed the golf club in order to get that connect. Yeah, no, both these players are actually trying to reach for any type of move right there. Nobby with that forward smash. Nobby with that jab combo. Nobby does not have a second jump. Good forward smash right there. And it ends up killing. Molly takes the win from some well-spaced punishes. Looking for the kill instead of, you know, he wasn't that good at